Hi there, it's Edwin here again. Have you ever had a great idea that you want to tell people about, but only to find out that nobody is paying attention? Well, you're not alone. Actually, it happens to me many times. Well, live streaming is like having a face-to-face -face conversation. There's one thing that I have learned, and I'd like to share this with you. And this technique is called multi-camera setup. Yes, just like what we're doing here. <laughs> So unlike pre-recorded videos that viewers can rewind, pause, or go forward, live streaming requires the full attention of the viewers. And by switching the points of view, it makes the live video more dynamic and interesting to watch. You may think this setup is expensive, but it doesn't have to be. The easiest and simplest setup is a two-camera setup. The main camera should be the one that is placed in front of you and the one that you talk to. It should be the one that has the best video output. You don't have to go 4K, but having 1080p would be, um, would be ideal. Most mobile phones today can achieve this quality, but um, webcam and mirrorless camera can do the job as well. Just one thing though, you can use DSLR, but they are not built for live streaming uh, video shooting. So um, shooting it for a long time um, in video may damage your camera. Keep this in mind. The second camera can be as convenient as your mobile phone. If you have another spare uh, webcam or a mirrorless camera, even better, use it. Depending on what you want to show, it could be a close-up of a facial expression or hand gestures. Most second camera are placed 40 at a 45 degree uh, of the presenter so that there is a close enough connection between the presenter and the viewers. Depending on the cameras that you use, you may need an encoder to bridge between the footage and the online broadcast itself. And you will also need a video switcher to switch between cameras and video sources. It may sound complicated, but with Manicam, many things are possible. Manicam has the ability to both video encoding and video switching. So there you have it. Having a two camera setup is easier than it sounds. Now that your videos can be more interesting and dynamic to watch, and most importantly, your viewers will appreciate it. Now, one thing that I still need to figure out is how to make people see me at a different angle in a face-to-face -face conversation. Well, let me worry about that later. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And for tutorials and videos alike, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you next time.